What's happening? It's Daddy on your Big 23. We on Hot New Hip Hop. And I'm finna show y'all what's in my bag. First item in the bag I'm gonna show y'all today is this chain right here. It's a special chain, real special chain. I got some icebox for my dog Will, you hear me? This chain was supposed to, they said it's a signal to keep away evil spirits. So when they told me that, I already liked how it looked and shit. So when they told me, first thing I thought I'm gonna grab this, you know, cause I be having a lot of bad vibes and a lot of bad ass energy around me. So I was like, I'm gonna go on and fuck with this chain. I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna keep it on my neck. So I like to wear this chain a lot. So if you see me with this chain on a lot, and if you got negative ass energy, stay away from me. But yo, you gonna see me with this one on a whole lot because you know, I be trying to keep away from bad ass vibes and shit. So I like to wear this one a lot. Special piece to me. The second item I got in the bag today, y'all do not judge me. My bag was. I gotta keep them woods on me. Gotta have a pack of bag woods. And this right here, these ain't just any woods. It's the blue pack. I'm finna start with my favorite color blue. But this right here, special edition pack. These limited. Y'all ain't gonna find these too much. I got these for my dogs on a trap truck out here in Hollywood. Y'all go check in with the trap truck. But these right here, some blue hot. Blue backwoods, you ain't gonna find these in the store if you do. Shout out to you, you hear me? But yeah, I gotta have me some backwoods. Some real good pressure to roll up from Zy. Some runs, it don't matter. Super glue, you know. Some of my favorite strands of weed I fuck with the hardest, I'm gonna say is like shit like bubble, shit like gelato, wig and cake too. It got a little smooth ass, good ass taste to it, so I like fuck with that wig and cake. It ain't too many strands I like fucking with, but. If it's some pressure, I'ma smoke it. So, you know, a lot of niggas should be coming with names anyway. Everybody be coming with names. They gonna put it in this fucking pack right here. And they gonna say it's Skittle Elastic Fuck. And they just gonna sell it to you. So, third item in my bag today is these bad bitches right here. This was so crazy about these shoes, though. You hear me? I know y'all like, damn, shoes. But these bitches, is, when I lay my eyes on these bitches, I say, damn. Damn, hold on, these summation Marzellas. These bitches are so precious. I mean, I put my feet in these bitches. I just felt like I was, yeah, that nigga. So I was like, I gotta cop these bitches. So every time I see these bitches, it made me feel special. So when I put these on, I know I'm gonna do something special. It's gonna be a special day. So these some real special ass shoes. And when I see these shoes, it just make me happy. I don't know why, but shout out to Mason for these making these bitches. These bitches are so awesome. These are 1600, like 1600, that's it. Let me see what I got in here, all right. He said backwards, but I right, you cannot forget the fucking pressure. I know I said weed, but I'm gonna show y'all what this is, right here. You gotta have some good pressure on you to keep your mind, you know, push my top back. As you can see right here, you see how, look at the buzz on this bitch. You probably can see that from that gun. Shit, as soon as I wake up, I start smoking. I start my day off with a blunt. I smoke before I smoke. So shit, I might smoke. It just depends on how my day going and what I'm doing. If I'm too busy, if I ain't got time to keep rolling up and smoking, it depends on what I'm, where I'm at and what I'm doing. If I can't smoke in the area, shit. But at the max, I don't even know. I know I smoked up to like 20 blunts or so a day. First time I smoked weed, man, I was like, I, I don't know if I was like 11 or 12 years old. I was in, at my, I was in my auntie house. I was smoking. I got so fucking high. Me and my cousin, and my big cousin, we had to go in the tub and some cold water just to come down. I was so fucking high. I fuck around and got too high with my dog Ruff, free Ruff. I was in Columbia Station. Columbia Station, I was fuck around. Getting high, we were smoking back to back, back to back, back to back. We didn't slow down. I had just started getting high too, so you know, you just, just finna smoke. I know how y'all know how it is. You know how it goes, you know, you know. When you just start smoking, you just get high as a bitch. So first time smoking, you just gonna get super high. So I fuck around. We smoked like three of them back to back. This like the fourth one I put in rotation. It was my turn to burn. I'd had it for like two to three minutes. By the next time they look at me, I'm, I done dozed off on the field. Like, I'm all on the ground and shit. I'm so fucking high. They even had to wake me up and shit. I'm, I done passed out out there. Next item I got in the bag is my crush. It's an exotic Chris. This is exotic out here, but these bitches ain't exotic in some other state, so I know y'all gonna see them. Y'all gonna like, that shit ain't exotic. We got them right on the corner store at Quick Shop. But nah, out here, this is exotic cream soda. 
Y'all know what I use this for. I ain't even got to say it for, but, you know, I got to keep me one of these at all times, you know. Next object I got today is something I got to have with me at all times, you know. Because I stay going over my fucking limit with my debit card. So I got to have a light ass. Shit, this is just pocket ass thing, though. This ain't nothing. Just a little ass cash on me. You just got to have some little money on you at all times. Because you never know what you might need to grab, you know. So you got to have a little money on you at all times. Make sure I have a little money on me at all times. So in the mall, I be buying all type of shit. Like I said, I spent 20 bands in one day. I could do that in one store, damn near. So I make sure I keep a little money on me. And then I be seeing, if I pass by and I see somebody homeless on the side of the road or something, I stop by, pass them out some money. Or if I see somebody I fuck with that come by and they support, I support they movement. You know, I pass them out a few dollars, you know, anything like that. So I always gotta keep a little, keep a little money on me at all times.